In this video we're going to install the new cam gears, tensioners, pulleys, tensioner, pulleys and timing belt. If you watch my last video, you know that my I didn't trust my um, cam gear uh, anymore because the bolt got stripped, and I was afraid that it wouldn't it would be not wouldn't tight enough um, as I was driving. So I got new ones. Check this out. I got the sick ones. They're OBX. Um, Man, they look amazing. Looks so nice, so cool. And I tested with the um, this just the size against the other one. They are perfect. So they are actually for uh, Eclipse 420A. I'm not sure if the other Eclipses are the same or not. Um, so we're gonna use them. Um, I haven't tried a fit in here yet, but you know. They should fit like a glove. Where are you, glove? So right out of the bat, the difference between this one and the other uh, cam gear, I don't know which brand was this. Uh, I'm not even sure if there is a brand. The screw is attached to the uh, metal part, to the aluminum in the back, and you just have this screw in here which has a pressure nut, uh, pressure washer, which is a split washer, right? Here is the same thing, I have this, the split washer, but here I have the screw. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to unscrew all of them and try to use it before putting it in the car and figure it out that this doesn't work, right? So let's do it. Dang, oh man, this is cool. So I'm gonna put on zero again, just hold it tight and I'm going to screw those screws back in so I guess the worst part today is because it's so cold is holding the tools because the tools in the garage and it's like 20 degrees outside it gets so cold so I'm gonna get the back cover if you saw the video we painted all of this I'm not sure if I put the video or not um, there is this gasket on the bottom so I'm gonna try to uh, keep the gasket in place so it seals where it's supposed to seal uh, and good to go Okay, so now with a 20 millimeter, we are going to put the bracket in here, which is this guy. We're gonna set it down there, and I'm just gonna use this is a 13 millimeter, and just put it all the way. It's funny to me that the bracket goes on top of the cover. Should have a hole in here, I don't know. So this we are going to tie a 20 foot pound. We're gonna do that. 20 and 20. So now the pulleys. So we have one pulley that goes right in here. Let me see if uh, this looks better. So this hole in here, uh, that's where we're going to use this crazy screw here. There's this adapter, my pulley is there already. But basically you just put this guy there, tie this guy, uh, 20 foot pound, tie your pulley 20 foot pound. That is probably a 15, yep. So we have here 20 foot pound. I think it's there already. Yep. And 20 foot pound. 
down. Oh, so I cannot tighten this guy because I need it to move and I'm only gonna tie it after everything is time I will finish this uh, the other pulley goes there's the bracket it goes outside of the bracket and this hole in here and you can tie it as 20 foot pound There you go, there you go, 20 foot pound. And the tensioner I'm gonna put later. So now let, let's gonna put the, let's install the actual timing belt. So we got this nice evergreen timing belt. It looks super cool. Uh, it's gonna look, it would look sick on my engine if I didn't have the cover, but I don't know, I choose to put a cover on. So first thing we start from the bottom, from the sprocket. Uh, my sprocket is not timed, so I need to count that I need to move a little bit. Um, I guess to start, let's move this and show you how it looks. Let's see here. You see that here's my arrow and here's where I should be. So I'm going to go all the way there and go back like half teeth uh, just so I can have like some leverage to put this in here so let me crank the crankshaft and let's see okay so when you get your adjustable cam gear first thing you need to know is compare to your stock one so this is my stock one you see the dowel hole in here? That's this little extra hole in the middle hole. Pointing up, I have the mark pointing left, right? So it's not straight up, it's not straight down, it's left. If I get the new one and I get the dowel hole either up or down, my markings are pointing up so it doesn't match. Um, in my case, I need to make those markings on the left side so it would match my stock ones so what i did doesn't make sense so basically if you point i have two holes so i could pick one of them doesn't matter which direction i need to put one on top of the other and mark where the mark is right here mark on my new one so what i did was i found something thank god i was doing the floor of my house so i have this little thing here and Luckily, it fits exactly in there. So you put them together and they will align by themselves, right? You hold them, take the thing out of there, and then you see. Um, now my mark is here. So what I did is I got the same teeth on the back and I made a white, mark, white marking. You can see in here. So. I made another mark in here, meaning that this is where my dowel hole is. So doing that, I know that doesn't matter the side, this is where it goes on the dowel hole and this is the thing I need to align. Another thing is I read that intake goes up and exhaust goes down and that's how you do it. So I got my stock ones and I put in here, right? They are both the same. So you have two of them and they are all, if the thing points up, the, th the uh, mark is to the, is to the left, it's pointing down, mark is to the right. So I put them in my, in my engine and I kind of rotate in a way that it got super close to what I need, right? You see right in here, one mark in here, one mark, one mark in here. It's kind of one teeth difference right so once this is done i'm going to remove those and i'm going to put mine in there uh if you look at yours this here and you know they they look exactly the same lucky you you know um so anyway 
So there, yeah, there we go. So we still have one teeth difference. And now I'm going to remove this one, right? So just be aware that I wasn't, and sorry for the shake, I'm, I'm kind of holding the camera, one teeth difference, right? The difference in color kind of make, looks like that's larger, but it's not. Um, and once the belt is here, I'm gonna move a little more so this goes up and probably this gotta go like a notch down. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the big screws in here. Make sure that is in. 75 foot pound. So we're going to use this small thing here. Um, I mean, I would buy, but you know, you can go to uh, O'Reilly's and just rent it and you put one in one gear and tie that up another one in another gear tie that up tie down tie up whatever uh 75 foot pound which is not little and you see you can do one side at a time so we're going to do this side first like this better to be honest because this here is going to hold check this out yeah so now it's locked yep 75 foot pound and now let's remember what we've done right so we have the belt let's take the belt out of here uh, we turn this almost all the way to top that center. And what we are going to do now is we are actually get a 19 millimeter. I'm gonna put here in the camshaft and I'm gonna turn a little more. It's almost top that center now, all right? It's a uh, half teeth, you see here? The arrow and the arrow. So, we don't care. It's just a little bit and that little bit we're gonna fix up here. So we get the timing belt. This is the timing belt I got, which is evergreen. Uh, it's racing timing belt. It's a little bit of special. You start from the bottom because this has a little lip in here. And if you start from the top, you will not be able to do that. So put from the bottom here and all the way, be sure that everything is inside, okay? and then go to the water pump on the right side turn around you gotta see that it's actually matching so let me uh zoom you don't need to see my face there you go so see the teeth is matching then you go around here and we are going to this gear <clears throat> in here so this gear here, I gotta go a little bit up. And what I'm going to do is, if I turn, the belt's going to turn. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn what I need. And now I'm going to put the belt. It gotta be tight. There you go. It's uh, somehow, it's somewhere around here. And, Put it inside, there you go, and up there, you need to be sure you don't have uh, slack, you don't have uh, oops, my, my glove, leave my glove alone, there's no uh, losing, you don't have a space, and so I'm going to get this guy now. It looks great. This one is a little weird still, but it is there. And now I do like boom, boom. I think I need to move one teeth. And then down here you have the um, the uh, damn, I forgot the name of this. 
So you got in here and you pull this. So you see it's stretching. When you pull it, it's all good in here. See, the slack is gone. So this is what we need to do. Uh, tensioner, that's the name of that thing. So I'm going to put the tensioner in here. The big screw on top, small screw on the bottom. Uh, I need to have like 10 hands to do that. It's easier if you have like two people. But So you need to use this, pull to the side, put one screw of the tensioner because the tensioner got to go underneath and don't forget the tensioner got to have the pin in there. Otherwise you're going to have a hard time. All right, uh, still that needs to have a uh, 20 foot pound, those tensioner ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pry bar and I'm going to pry the tensioner up and push it. I don't have anything more delicate than that. That's a tire bar. I'm going to add that. <sighs> put that on the bottom and push it so I gotta use this here this is uh, actually I hand tight those here it was too much so see I gotta have that there pull all the way and hand tight again so and tie the top one and tie the bottom one uh, and be sure that this guy here is all the way it can so this is kind enough you see there's no slack um, and I didn't release this pin people say that the, the good way you do this is if you release the pin and then you can put the pin back on but I don't want to do that because if you release the pin you are screwed if you can't put back on so I'm gonna put this in here uh, just tie this a little bit more all right so everything seems to be in place belt is all the way in uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, 20 foot pound those guys here and we do that here. 20 and 20. There you go. One more. There you go. We need to crank this here. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I need to put this on top of that center, which is here. And now I need to move those guys. So now that's when we are going to work on the uh, adjustable cam gears. So now we have uh, timing belt set, everything torqued and everything set to go, but the marks are not aligning. Uh, you get a, you, you trace a straight line between those two screws, right? And those marks should be right on top of this. So none of them are there. I need to move this a tiny bit up, this a tiny bit up, uh, a little more, right? And even though this here is the factory marking, that's not the marking we are after. We're we can use this to know how many degrees we are moving. I, I extend that marking I made to the inside. And what, this is, what is going to happen when I lose this guy here, when I lose those two, one and two, the other ones are loose already, right? This is going to move. And so I need to move this all the way where I think that's the middle. So I'm gonna tie this one here and probably one on the bottom, right? Cause now we are not moving the teeth anymore, but we are moving the inside. So you can't count on the mark of the teeth. 
but I left the mark on the teeth because you can tell how much you you degree the thing. So now I'm going to lose them. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna hold it. Four and five. And now I'm actually going to go back a tiny bit and can you see that this is a line out the internal ones and that's it so I'm going to tight this one down tight this other one down and I'm going to check Let's see if it's right in the middle uh, kinda but you can see that the right one I don't know if you can see that the right one, you kind of can see it, but you can't see the left one. So the left one got to go up just a tiny bit more. So I know how many degrees because it's up here. It's on the five and a little bit. So I'm going to just keep this in here. Hold it in case I lose it. I'm just, yep, I just went. A little more and this should be it you see here they are very very aligned very well aligned if you go to the middle uh, they are right in the middle I'm pretty sure there is a tool a circle that you put in here and it degrees it for you but uh, yeah so that's it uh, so basically the, this marking from the outside uh, is only going to tell me how many degrees I moved uh, and the mark from the inside is going to tell me uh, where I am right now so I'm gonna tie them up I'm not gonna tie the crap out of it uh, they say to use Loctite uh, so I might so now I get a 19 millimeter. Uh, I have this here on top dead center. Uh, I'm going to crank this a couple of times. And that's it. I'm going to stop the top dead center again. Okay. So I did stop. Uh, they move a little bit so if you look at this they are not quite perfect see here these two markings here so if I put this bar right there right in the middle uh, apparently I need to move let me see this is here I need to move this side here up a little bit. That up there is still need to go a tiny bit down, uh, but it's getting there. So look at that here. The internal one is a tiny bit up this here. It's perfectly arrow to arrow. So let's do again. All right, four try and it worked. Um, so this is how I timed the timing belt. Um, if you see here, there is one more thing I need to do, which is pull this pin. Um, just be sure that you have this tension as much as you can. See, there's a little bit slack on top. Uh, not much of slack anywhere else. So just be sure that um, all this slack is gone. And last thing you do, pull the trigger. All right. 
so now all these slack should be gone look at that no slack a little bit of slack but this is normal this here this here and this here is pulling this as much as it can to tension this timing belt uh, the timing belt will be driven by this guy here which keeps it from coming outside and because of that it keeps the timing belt inside this pump inside in here inside in here so you don't need to worry about this here uh, it's going to move accordingly so done uh, timing belt is timed uh, what we need to do now is you know put the cover um, and then what goes in here is the engine mount I need to clean my bench because it's a freaking mess right now and if you've been watching being watching my videos you saw that uh, I got so I got this from the guy and everything was um, used uh, the cam gears were there got the cam gears and you know never check them uh, put all the timing belt did everything I'm doing but you know when I was tightening this uh, screws in here those guys right um, it, it wasn't tightening it, it was enough to keep this here but I'm sure uh, you know if this makes 400 hours power 500 hours power 300 hours power I don't know uh, using turbo this would gonna get loose eventually and get out of time as I was driving and you know I can lose my engine there so just a little warning if you buy used one of those things untie everything see if it moves properly and tie it again and see if everything gets tight um, you know otherwise just uh, spend hundred twenty dollars and just buy freaking new ones and you know learn what to do second thing is uh, be sure that you do not use this like blindly because I was about to and you know if you gotta use this here those markings in here the ones that come in the the uh, uh, cam gears uh, be sure that they match your factory ones uh, mine didn't and I was like man but this is not right that, that doesn't sound right so as you saw in my video check out where the dowel hole is and where your marking is so in this case dowel hole down marking on the right and in this case dowel hole and marking on the top or on the bottom not even light right or left so I didn't have an option uh, I honestly spent the whole day trying to figure it out uh, until I uh, post a question on a Facebook uh, group and uh, there's this guy that always helps me his name is Dylan Lara uh, I hope I'm saying his name right you know shout out to you Dylan uh, you help me like a lot uh, I always post questions and you know he's one of the guys that always answers and another one is Cody uh, you know uh, it's good thank you guys I appreciate it this is the result of a bunch of research and you know uh, help from some people that you know could could be doing something else but they spend time answering your questions of course there's always uh, the negative ones I don't wanna I gotta control my words uh, the negative ones you know it's like let him explode the engine or uh, hey don't tell him that let it happen you know don't do that you're an idiot it's like man just give me the solution don't criticize me tell me what to do you know and if you don't know what to do just don't say anything just sit down in your couch and watch TV and whatever but anyway thank you Dylan and um, if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel there's so many more videos coming and this baby is about to get in there I just need to clean a little bit and we're gonna get there check out my blog www.carmodsgarage.com later